was really very good beginning for a writer. Uh, the books are, were very present in our house. I saw from the, from the beginning how my parents are discussing books, reading books, buying books. And I could spend a lot of time with my father in library, which I remember very good, uh, what I remember very good. And like here, we have a shelves and the most interesting books for me were always uh, close to, to the ground. So I explored those shelves very intensively. And I think that that was the way I, I really discovered books as a, as a words, as a alternative words. Of course, I think on the beginning were fairy tales, many of them, and I, I do still like fairy tales very much. Uh, even recently I bought a new volume of uh, Brother Grimm's fairy tales and still uh, I read them as a kind of poetry. Uh, but later I think that uh, Jules Verne uh, affected me very much. So I started to think in this way, crossing borders, thinking about another countries and other cultures, traveling. So that was the, the, the very strong idea for me. I, um, I, I liked my school, but rather from social reasons, because of my friends and the time spending together. But I was a type of a child who rather prefer self-education. So I had uh, many hobbies, many fascinating subjects like astronomy, for instance. So I really um, spent a lot of time studying for my pleasure. I remember very well my um, teacher from secondary school. She was a biologist and she taught us biology and she opened my eyes for uh, this beautiful aspect of uh, physical existence of every living beings. Of course, as a very young child, I, I, I would uh, be uh, an actress like every single girl, I think. But later, I, I expected that the progress of science will be quicker, I think. And then I expected that it will be possible to be a, physis a physician, but the cosmic physician. So I'm, I'm, I was thinking about my future profession as a, um, uh, taking part in a cosmic, um, uh, oh God, how to say, um, expedition. So I remember myself dreaming about to be a part of uh, um, a cosmic expedition and uh, work in science, checking how human body is uh, relating with, uh, with a cosmic space. So it was a very fantastic idea. Of course, uh, I think that I overestimated the time of, uh, of, of, of um, develop, development of science. Now I can realize that this is the same uh, subject in my books. Thank you for this question. I think that it was a good choice to study psychology. Um, of course, I was tempted by my mother to study literature even if she knew from the beginning that I am, I, I, I wanted to write. But psychology taught me very many important things. I think the one most important one that there is, that every single human being is the source of, uh, of a novel. It, it's, a, it's a source of many stories. So we are living in the world that like more or less five billions of stories novels uh, in potential state existing still around us. But um, the, second, uh, the second reason why studying psychology was a very good choice is that this training as a psych psychotherapeut, uh, psychotherapist taught me how to listen to people, 
uh, it's a kind of uh, ability you can really train and then you can be open much more what, for what the people saying to you. The most influential um, experience which really is strongly related to my work is, I think, this moment I decided to move to the countryside. And then, because I grew up as a child in the countryside, then after big cities and this kind of chaotic life, I came back uh, to the nature and then I discovered uh, a, a kind of different state of mind which were which was very good for my writing uh, it, and gave me a kind of uh, concentration, uh, silence, uh, inner silence. I think that most imp most funny and uh, mysterious thing is uh, creating characters. It looks on the beginning that I am really inventing because I need a, 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 a character, a, a per personality to, to the story, to my story. But in fact, it looks rather like those characters are coming from outside to my story. So they are already existing somewhere. And there are, uh, the first step is that they, are, they look rather shapely only you know cloudy very not not uh, not uh, um, in a physical way but there is another s uh, step of this process when i can hear what they are talking between each other or that when they are talking to me so this is the best moment in my writing it must be special very deep and special connection relationship between me as a narrator me as a author and my, my characters and for sure they are taking from me many things but I'm also um, I'm, I'm, I'm learned from them sometimes they are very they surprising me because of uh, something which I didn't know about them so it's it's really very mysterious I'm going to write about it and of course there are many dimension of, dimensions of writing because first of all you need to make a research or even to invent an entire story to support yourself by, by another books and other ideas to talk with people to make some notes and then there is a beginning of writing and uh, sculpturing entire story so it's uh, so many dimensions that it is never boring, really. Mm. And I like it, just like it. This is my own, only one profession. I, I cannot do anything else, so. <laughs> there is one, I presume, which is uh, ability to live in a kind of regime. So, uh, kind of regularity uh, in writing and also um, how to say to 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 manage a kind of management of our time we have to to dispose mm -hmm. there is no such a book i think because um, first of all i i should ask who is the reader if is if it is uh, young or rather middle age, uh, woman or man, I don't know, uh, um, introvert or extrovert, it's quite complicated. But there are some books I like, uh, there are some books of mine I like uh, more than the other. And I think uh, there is still one book uh, which wasn't translated into Swedish. It's called uh, Anna in in a uh, uh, graves of the world it's a, like a cyberpunk a little bit old story based on a sumerian mythology so this this book could be nice for teenagers for instance it is also hard to answer because it depends from uh, in which moment of my life 
uh, there, there were many such a uh, fascination of mine on a special kind of writing, special novels. Mm, so it's quite uh, fluent, I would say. But for sure, I, I do be, mm, belong to the Central European tradition of writing, telling story and also writing and um, discovering uh, mm, the language, I would say. And among writers from those writers from Central Europe, I would um, underline the name of Bruno Schulz, who was very important for me as a Polish writer, writing in Polish, because he did an uh, incredible thing with Polish language. But I also like this kind of parabolic writing, also rooted in Central Europe, like uh, Franz Kafka, for instance. But of course, uh, when I was young, much younger as a teenager, I was fascinated by literature of uh, Southern uh, America. Mm, I like Russians writer very this this kind of realism and irony. So it really it it could be very long answer till the evening. I think that the process already began, but we are still somewhere on the beginning of this process. Um, once I wrote a book about uh, three women, uh, the, the um, mother, grandmother and the daughter. And I tried to describe their experiences as a really uh, existential, existential. So the human being uh, faced to death and all those b mm, very demanding experiencing in our life. And in the Polish, uh, uh, by the Polish critics, this book was described as a saga. Saga, is it a good uh, expression? Uh, so I was so disappointed because when they realized that the, 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 the main characters are women and the author is women, it must be a saga. So sometimes I think that we need not only um, female writing, but also creating the, the female characters in literature as a, as a philosophical, ethical subject uh, facing towards the, the most important um, challenges, uh, contemporary challenges. Then, because we, when we are thinking about uh, a man, uh, I mean a, a human being, we still have somewhere on the back of our minds a man, the, the figure of man. So this one is very important. This should be to, to be changed. The first, the very, the, the, the simplest uh, answer should be connected with place of my um, growing up and also on the places where I used to live. And it's always kind of karma because I was born close to the German border, then I now living close to Czech border and my family was, uh, um, uh, was, was the part of this big uh, political changing of borders after the Second War. So they were refugees from one part of Poland territory to the other, uh, gain after the Second War. So the, the story about borders were very present in my childhood and also in my own, in my own life. Uh, but also it is, the, this subject is fascinating because of, from this abstract um, side, uh, yeah, borders are a challenge for us, but we also feel very deeply the deep need to, to crossing the borders. It's something I remember myself living in this uh, small village. There was a, there is a still old border in the forest, and I used to take a play, uh, my dogs and went to the forest just for crossing the border, for clear, plain pleasure, for the joy that I am free person and the border in fact, doesn't exist in a real sense. And of course, uh, in, especially in Jacob's book, I, mm, I would like to relate to the, 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 the previous 
concept of, of Poland as a multicultural country, as a uh, society speaking many languages, which we completely lost after the Second World. So this is also something uh, deep, uh, deep uh, need to rebuild the old image of, of, of Poland. Yes, it is. I do believe that we, uh, all of us, we have somewhere in our perhaps genes or our psyche, we have this nomadian, nomadic uh, instinct which uh, creates our lives. And even if we are living entire life in one place, so we're still thinking about Kind of just crossing those places where we are um, designed to be, uh, but uh, and the, this this deep need is very uh, also very present in my life. So, writing flights, I try to write a kind of monography of movement on many levels, from this touristic uh, level side for pilgrimage, for also kind of neurotic, you know, uneasiness to go somewhere, to check somewhere, just to also missing places we've never been before, which also creates our lives in a very, very visible way. So I would say this book is just monography of movements, uh, literary monography of movements. I'm not the type of activist. I'm too neurotic and too nervous to, uh, to, to make a speech to the, you know, big group of people. I'm not this kind of fighter, but what I can do, it's, uh, in, I can invent uh, some ideas and I can write down those ideas and I can create a story which will move another people, like drive your plow over the bones of the dead. And after this book, people, many people told me that they became vegetarian. So it's really something. So I'm going to really to, to, to do what I really can do. This is my small field of my activity. Um, and of course, uh, lit literature is a very specific way of understanding the world and very specific and very raffinated, special, sophisticated way of communication. So I would like in my writing, I, I would like to try um, just a kind of general ideas or um, instruction how to deal with those uh, very um, uh, dangerous uh, things connected with uh, climate changes. So please do understand that I am not activist. This is what I'm going to say. I am going to write about it in my own language, in using my my imagination to 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 make our consciousness broader. Oh yes, that was one of the first thoughts after this announcement and after realizing that um, I am in a completely different uh, situation right now. So um, I was always very active in, uh, in doing something for the small community I, I used to live or making some project from another people. And now I have such a possibility. Now I can really do so. The, we are now writing a um, stated, or how, what is the English word, the, the plan of the foundation, the, what we are going, goals, goals of the foundation and uh, the, the main goals will be connected with literature. I mean the, the um, small residences for writers and translators, of course. But I'm also very keen to focus on uh, ecology, especially in, my, in our small community, in, in, in our village. And there are many, many ideas. Also animal rights, which is very important things for me. 
It's a complicated question. Uh, I know that there are uh, many kinds of uh, studying uh, uh, called uh, creative writing, for instance, and the people then trying to, to learn how to write and um, how to live in writing. To, because for me, writing is rather a psychological process, not just the, the, the uh, process of writing on the paper or even not inventing story, but something which is very deeply connected with uh, our psychological side. So I think that um, th there is only one advice, to read. To read, I think, read and read, uh, and for every single one written page, it is always 1,000 pages which should be read. Yes, then. Mam kilka lat. Siedzę na parapecie, wokół mnie porozrzucane zabawki, przewrócone wieże z klocków, lalki o wytrzeszczonych oczach. W domu jest ciemno, powietrze w pokojach powoli studzi się, przygasa, nikogo nie ma, odeszli, zniknęli, słychać jeszcze ich słabnące głosy, szurania, echa kroków i odległy śmiech. Za oknem puste podwórze. Ciemność łagodnie spływa z nieba, Osiada na wszystkim jak czarna rosa. Najbardziej dotkliwy jest bezruch, gęsty, widzialny, zimny zmierzch i słabe światło sodowych lamp, grzęznące w mroku, w odległości zaledwie metra od swego źródła. Nic się nie wydarza, marsz mroku ustaje przed drzwiami do domu, cały zgiełk ciemnienia ucicha, tworzy gęsty kożuch jak na wystygłym mleku. Kontury budynków na tle nieba rozciągają się w nieskończoność, tracą powoli ostre kąty, winkle, krawędzie. Gasnące światło zabiera ze sobą powietrze. Nie ma już czym oddychać. Mrok sączy się teraz przez skórę. Dźwięki zgwinęły się w sobie, cofnęły ślimacze oczy. Orkiestra świata odeszła i przepadła w parku. Ten wieczór jest krańcem świata. Wymacałam go przez przypadek w czasie zabawy, niechcący. Odkryłam, ponieważ zostawili mnie na chwilę samą, nie ustrzegli. Jest jasne, że oto znalazłam się w pułapce, zamknięta. Mam kilka lat, siedzę na parapecie, patrzę na ostygłe podwórze. Zgaso zgaszono już światła w szkolnej kuchni, wszyscy odeszli. Betonowe płyty podwórka nasiąkły mrokiem i zniknęły. Pozamykane drzwi... Opuszczone klapy, zasunięte rolety. Chciałabym wyjść, ale nie ma dokąd. Tylko moja obecność nabiera wyraźnych konturów, które drżą, falują i to boli. W jednej chwili odkrywam prawdę. Nic się już nie da zrobić. Jestem. <śmiech>